Hey, we have to endure Israel Gutierrez this week. What do you like on the show today, Izzy? You know, I don't know if you're allowed to get on Hassan Whiteside because you get up a minute or two before the show's over all the time. Dale, papi. Congratulations. For what? On winning the Masters. <laughs> wow. Does Marco Fultz diagnosis make you feel better or worse for his future? All right, Fultz is the word. It's a tricky one. He mispronounces it a lot in his accent, and it's dangerous. Wait till he gets to peanuts later in the show. Markel Fultz, Poppy, what is this diagnosis? It says it right here. What is it? Neuro thoracic, thoracic outlet syndrome. Yeah, with a neurogenic in there. Oh, uh, there are not many people in sports who have ever even heard of this. Yes, the body is connected, and we don't know what's wrong with his body. But there is literally no one right now that can answer this question. Not Fultz, not his doctors, not the Sixers. I don't know why you'd expect us to be able to tell you what his future looks like when we don't seem to know much of anything about what short-circuited him. It doesn't really help explain what happened in the past. There weren't complaints of numbness or tingling or pain for Markel Fultz. There weren't these excuses made for him by the coaching staff, by the training staff. And so we are to believe what we believe, which is it is a mental thing. I am not to believe that in three to six weeks, even with this diagnosis, all of a sudden he's going to be fixed because that kind of is the deal for him right now. If this is indeed is the end all diagnosis for him, whenever he comes back, whether it be in three to six weeks, whether he has a rib removed and fixes himself that way he has to be that number one pick style of player again otherwise it's all over for him so i think we're all hoping that this is actually the case they call it tos eh? yes tos mm -hmm. that's right i thought that that this stood for terrible outside shot <laughs> no. i mean it also stands for that as well yeah well, that was a nasty one. It really was. I love that my father just realized it after he said it. Are you surprised that the chief and the NFL apparently did not seek out the Kareem Hunt video? We have not a lot of experience with successfully conducted NFL investigations of any kind. There are controversies around every investigation because the players don't trust their bosses to investigate correctly. Add to that that the NFL is far more concerned with making it look like it's interested in being a pioneer on domestic abuse instead of actually doing the things necessary to be a pioneer on domestic abuse. It's one of the many reasons the NFL is not qualified, much like law enforcement, where you have a lot of disputes, is not qualified to navigate this terrain well. It's almost impossible to believe that a league this that makes this type of money, that has been stained by this particular domestic violence issue, would be this incompetent as to not seek out this information. Especially when the incident happened in a public place like the hallway of a hotel where you knew there would be surveillance. It really makes me want to hold off on criticizing the NFL until we get more information on their procedure. But given what we've seen in the past, there won't be any more information. It will be as plain as it looks to to us. On the other side, when you read that Kareem Hunt had multiple incidents that the NFL is now investigating, it makes it so much easier to understand the Chiefs sudden dismissal of him. Look, we've had enough. We're tired of it. We know this is going to be worse than people already think it is. Here's when you will know about the details of the procedure and the amount of money spent and how much they actually care about this. There is all manner of money spent on private investigators to check out draft picks before they're even employed by the league. If you want to take some of those funds that the teams use to have really comprehensive security forces that act as a law enforcement arm, helping these professional billion dollar franchises keep their athletes clean, they might want to take some of that money and point it toward this because we don't know with the absence of details on procedure how much money they're actually spending behind this cause. Is KD right that big stars don't stand to game by playing with LeBron? This is Rick Buecher of Bleacher Report. My father's gotten so good at these questions that very often he looks straight at the camera instead of the computer because he knows how to finish them. Rick Buecher, last seen saying that Derrick Rose would have a better future than LeBron James after Derrick Rose won the MVP award. Talked to Kevin Durant, and I didn't think this was the most interesting thing that Kevin Durant said. I thought the most interesting thing Kevin Durant said is all the media fanboys that LeBron have, that people in this sport don't want to be near the entire attention-seeking orbit that is LeBron James. They'd rather have their own thing because guys don't merely want to win. They want to be the reason for winning. And when you're with LeBron, you never get to be that. 
I think KD's actually wrong here with big stars not standing to gain by playing with LeBron, at least this version of LeBron. First, we saw him with Dwayne Wade, and that still seemed to work even though they didn't fit together. And we saw with Kyrie Irving toward the end there, LeBron stood back some. He let Kyrie go to work. Why? Because he needed the rest, frankly. He needed to stand there, collect himself, and let somebody else that's capable of taking over a game do so. He needs that more now, or he will the last few years of his career, than he ever has. So if he does have a KD beside him, a Kawhi Leonard beside him, he will give up the ball more. He'll still do what he has to do when he has the ball in his hands, but it's not a situation where he's clamoring for it all the time. He wants it less than ever. Why would you want to play with LeBron, you know? When he loses in the final, he's going to blame it on you, and the rest of the team is never him. Okay, very good. LeBron's fault. <laughs> I mean, LeBron. Kevin Love is still flinching. Every right. time they lose with the Lakers, Kevin Love is like, it's not my Man. fault! <laughs> what did I do? Congratulations. On? Your new job with the Packers. <laughs> is Hassan Whiteside justifying his anger toward the Heat? <laughs> that was a good one. I like that better than the Masters joke. I should throw this over to my father because my father is getting very mad about the same things that Hassan Whiteside is getting mad about, which is Hassan was very good in the first half yesterday in a loss to Orlando. And the Heat have been bad, and they've been bad at home. They're 1-7 in, in a terrible division, and they lose to Orlando last night. And so Hassan leaves early, and we don't know for sure whether it's frustration or he just had to go to the bathroom because there was an allegation that that was just a bathroom situation but he didn't play in the fourth quarter is he and he's a max player and no matter how much the nba evolves you can't have your max players on the bench in the fourth quarter and this was not the first time he's shown disgust whether it be with his team whether it be with him not playing late in games eric spolster has had to deal with this in the past and eric spolster said in this incident maybe it was frustration and anger like the rest of us are angry and that's really the problem with this team the way they're constructed they're a bunch of players with not great basketball like Cues a bunch of players in roles that they really shouldn't be in right now, and the guy who's getting paid $100 million is the most volatile of them all, of them all and is going to show his anger this way more often than not. Things are falling apart from the inside. He's the volatile one until, ladies and gentlemen, the savior returns. Dion Waiters here to rectify all your knucklehead needs. Man, I don't know. He was walking pretty slowly, you know. When I have to go, I run. That's right. I don't take yeah, any chances. Run, you know, I no run. Chances. You run. Or That's penguin right. waddle something, but you get there yeah, faster than multiple that. Multiple times a game for him. Congratulations. On what, Poppy? On your job with Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Yeah. 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 It's uh, $49.99 a day for Ooh. our compact models. Go ahead, Poppy. Well, Swiss the most tweeted fireball offense. Uh, Winston Moss is an assistant for the Packers. Do we have that tweet? Let's put that tweet up on the screen and show people. Ponder this. What championship teams have are great leadership, period. It's not the offensive guru trend. It's not the safe trend. Find somebody that is going to hold number 12 and everybody in this building to hashtag Lombardi standard, period. He held them to that standard, and Joe Philbin quickly fired him because you do not anger Aaron Rodgers, and you do not hold him to any standard in that organization that he does not want to be held to. He is the most valuable player player in that organization and people have talked about him former teammates like Jermichael Finley in which publicly they take out their quarterback in a way that is uncommon to hear from former teammates but you do not do that to Aaron Rodgers in his house Really, this tells me that over the years, there's just been a bigger rift between Aaron Rodgers and the coaches than Mike McCarthy or anybody was willing to say. Of course, he's going to stand for Mike McCarthy. He's been his associate head coach for 13 years now, and it just implies that there's a rift there, that there are people who believe that Aaron Rodgers is as good as we believe he is and people in that organization who believe otherwise. But here's the thing. That seems like a tweet he sent out after knowing he was going to be released anyway, and I thought it was entirely hilarious that afterward, he sent out a tweet announcing that he'd been let go and said hashtag thanks Twitter when he's the one who's talking about accountability for Aaron Rodgers. It's crazy to me that there is any sort of rift in that organization about the quality of Aaron Rodgers, about holding his feet to the fire, about holding him accountable. He's been the only thing that's been holding this franchise up for the last several years. So this doesn't really signal anything different that's been going on. It's just amazing to think that the people in that building think differently of Aaron Rodgers than the rest of us do. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? He took a shot at Aaron Rodgers. I know, I know. Winston Moss, I will right. fight you in the street. You're a former University of Miami guy, one of the most, one of the scariest linebackers I've ever seen at the University of Miami. I will fight you in the street if you get in the way of my man love for Aaron Rodgers. He's so heated, his glasses are fogging up. 
Coming up next on Highly Questionable. Okay, we cover the animal kingdom very well here. Usually it's bugs that are in ears. All of those bugs are scary. What kind of bug do we have here? Okay. It's like a, oh. Ooh, it's like a bit of a cockroach octopus. What is this? Liberty Mutual. Time to play the game whose mind was born when he found out that the peanut was actually a lagoon. Do you question? I'm more of a pistachio fan myself. You give us topics and events, we question them. Peanut is the peanut. word that he said there. Peanut. Peanut. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, why is that? Because you're looking a little green. <laughs> Do you question if this is more impressive than a dunk? Santa's <laughs> fattest elf right here, drunk on eggnog. Everybody have a good time. It's the holiday season. Jolly fat men are made fun of all over the place. Let's see what we have here from Division 2. Oh! Wow! And how awful do you feel as the flopper trying to take oh. the charge after getting some of those in your face. <laughs> is that worse than Vince Carter dunking on Frederick Weiss? Uh, it is, because at the very least, the scent has to be closer. <laughs> well, I have some advice for number five. What's the advice? Well, don't keep on doing that. That could turn into something very painful. Oh, yes, it really could be. That's right. That, that's Once really you go get, up in levels, the guys get taller. Nah. Yeah, you need to stop that. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. advice for Saquon Barkley. Congratulations to the persistent owl. Oh, uh, the owl made it. Do you question if this owl is onto something? Okay, my father was very happy because the owl made the cut today. The last couple of days of show, we've been talking about doing something involving this owl. We haven't seen the video, but now the owl has finally made the cut. It's a dumb bird, by the way. It gets good PR, but it's a dumb bird. Let's check in with the owl. Oh, no. Oh, this gives me nightmares, actually. Oh, see, people think that's because the owl is wise. Again, no, it's because it's dumb. The owl is a dumb bird. No, but I've recorded, I've DVR'd a documentary on HBO about killer robots, and I believe this is part of it. This really does scare me, actually. Are we sure that it's not that robots here are getting ready to eat owls? <laughs> I have a joke. Oh, no. Oh, dear God, that sounded like a threat. Go ahead, Poppy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Hoo-hoo. That sounds like an owl. <laughs> Do you question if this is a scary bug? Okay, we cover the animal kingdom very well here. Usually it's bugs that are in ears. All of those bugs are scary. What kind of bug do we have here? Okay. It's like a, oh. Ooh, it's like a bit of a cockroach octopus. What is this? What's it going to? Oh! Oh. And there's our scary friend. He is hungry. And there is the actual cockroach octopus. Where did that come from? Is that part of his body? What is that? That is, is the thing's hand, right? Whatever that thing is, that was just its hand coming out. Is this underwater? Boy, that bug was way too slow, you know what That's I mean? right. That's right. That happened when you're too slow. Yes, you know? Poppy That's here to you second guess the bug. Fast. As right. if the bug hasn't had a hard enough thing happen to it. He's here to question the slowness of the bug. <laughs> Gotta be faster. Yeah, you do. You have to be faster, dead bug. Do you know who you look like? No, Bobby. Please tell me. Well, the jolly green giant. <laughs> do you question who got it worse, the truck driver or the pedestrian? Okay, the uh, green giant is slightly less than jolly uh, with the jokes being made at his expense today. I'm never going to be able to wear this jacket again. <laughs> Let's check in here with a truck driver and some pedestrian. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Whoa, that's manure, that? by the way, that's manure, Oh no! that is manure, the manure truck, oh, oh, oh. imagine oh. being so scared for your life that you're oh. actually thankful that you are just sitting in a pile of poop, that looked really scary. I would have preferred plutonium. <laughs> I know someone who would have loved that. Oh, who would no. love that? Nobody oh, would love that. Boston guy, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Boston man. Oh, man. That would be his I can't look at paradise, it. you know? Look it's at just, I mean, <laughs> I'm not doing it. He looks yeah. so proud. Yeah. 
Mm. Are you kidding me? That's like a big buffet for that guy, you know? <laughs> he could go he could go all over the place. <laughs> you know what they call that, no? Yeah? What do they call it? A dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's Ed McMahon over here. Like, he laughs right. at everything this His dude delivery says. delivery is money. <laughs> Don't be money. sad, Jolly no. Green Giant. <laughs> Seven days. Now, this broadcast from the Clevelander Hotel on beautiful South Beach, Miami. Time to play the game that thinks that he threw his back out last night, if you know what I mean. See? Oh, no. 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 Many times. No. 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 I never know what he means. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Why are you sorry? Well, I know that it's not DC being green. <laughs> On NBA League Pass, Mavericks and Pelicans. <laughs> uh, excellent comedic timing by the producers. Uh, let's check in with our boy Luca. He's good, man. The Mavericks are a lot better because he plays for them. And, yeah. That right there, what are you going to do about that? How about nothing but lose is what you're going to do against that. And then here's some bonus stuff for you. Oh, that's a tall man. They just threw it over. Is that Ed Davis who's been playing for the Trailblazers for 20 straight years? It is not. Izzy, are you intrigued? Absolutely. Lucas should be rookie of the year. Those step backs, he creates so much space there. Go look at what DeAndre Jordan is shooting from the free throw line. I'm telling you, the Dallas Mavericks surprise team of the Western Conference. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. Ring! Oh, ring! Wow. Very, very ring! 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 Hello? Oh, Fred. Fred Hoiberg. You Fred seem surprised. Right. Yeah. Yes, Fred. <laughs> yeah, you saw the video? You think that uh, Lucas trouble? Oh yeah. Oh, that was good eye, good yeah, eye, good, good eye, eye, Fred. Like good eye, I'm Fred. telling you. Oh, oh Fred, thank you for helping the show, Fred. Thank you. Yeah, you're a real pro. The show. That's what? right. Have a good day, Fred. Oh, have a good day. <laughs> Man, this guy, he doesn't miss one, boy. Got a sharp eye. Told you he creates separation. He was a real pro. Now he's just unemployed. <laughs> On ESPN, Spurs and Lakers. Oh, my father is tired of all the overcoverage throughout ESPN of LeBron James. We're an infomercial for LeBron James. So what do we do now? No more LeBron James. How about his child, his middle school child? Why don't we overcover him? Good God. Izzy, are you intrigued? Yes, but more so by the Spurs. They lost three of their last four games by 30-plus points. You look at the type of players that they have. They're not Greg Popovich-type players. DeRozan, Rudy Gay, LaMarcus Aldridge. This team does not look like it's going to be a playoff team right now. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Are you kidding me? At least someone is going to get a win in that family because tonight, the Lakers are going to lose to the Spurs. Oh, That's my right. father with a bold prediction that is not in any way surprising. He has predicted 0 and 82 seasons for LeBron James since he left Miami. One of these years, he'll get it right. Streaming on Destination America, Paranormal Lockdown. Uh, I am saying C beforehand because I love haunted stuff, but also because I'm spectacularly lazy and I don't really want to move this from my arm. <laughs> Let's check in with hauntings. <gasps> she oh, wow. That was shocking and extreme. I don't know if it was fake or not. Those actors better than most on that kind of show, though. Izzy, are you intrigued? Uh, no, they're not. If I wanted to see bad acting, I'd watch James Harden play defense. No, thank you. Okay. He didn't think the acting was as good as I did. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Well, listen, I always get a rush, and I never go into a haunted house, you know what I mean? I get all kind of rushes, you know? I get all kind of rushes, you know, all over my body, you know? Depends on what I eat, depends where I go, you know? Depends what I do, you know what I mean? So what's the big deal? You want to see? No, you want to see you. one? No, you no, want to no, see no, one? No, I'll show you no, one. No, 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 right here. No, there it is. Right here. Okay. I got a big rush right here. Small right one. here. Right here. I got a big rush. Sorry, lady. Yeah. Stop pointing down there, please. Thank you. You guys left me alone. You want to be close to my rush? <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. I've got some cream if you need it. You, you haven't seen the real bad one yet, you know. This is nothing what I showed.